You asked if there were any other places like this, and he told you about another bunker he knew about. It, it was underneath a hotel near Washington, D.C. that was built as a secure place for Congress in, in the event of a nuclear attack. The Cameo Ballroom is where you would find large parties, wonderful dances, balls, beautiful crystal chandelier. Brad Paisley was here this summer. Alfonso Ribeiro was here a couple summers ago with his family. So during the Cold War, in case of a nuclear disaster, this is where our House and Senate would have relocated to to continue doing their job. Wow, how heavy is this door? This door is actually 18 tons. Wow. So this is the start of the decontamination process. They're going to have to take everything off and everything would be immediately incinerated. This was a dormitory with 60 to 65 beds. And there would also be riot gear. The, the, the riot gear is to protect the people in here from each other? From each other. So they had to make sure that they survived and that our government would continue running our country. Like, is there any kind of world that you would not want to re-enter, like if, if there were such a fallout? Well, if we have complete devastation and there's no vegetation, there's no animals left, um, I don't want to be a part of that world to try to figure out how to sustain life. So, yes, I, I would not want to be here in that situation. This is the briefing room. And this is where our representatives would have addressed their constituents from. Then that would be the background for the broadcast? Correct. If you have a photo of, of devastation and destruction, you're going to be scared. You're going to want to flee. And this is going to help calm everyone down. Like, wouldn't it just be a, like an illusion that the White House was intact, even if it wasn't? It would, but it would be an illusion that we would need. Us having this would really calm everyone down and say, hey, just hold on a minute. We can get through this. They're trying to find a solution for us.